Woo! Oh boy! Extra my turn to show yeah. you how to do it. So breathtaking and attractive. I think it's a little bit of silver. I tell this to only angels. Have you seen one before? Where was that? Yes, uh, about a minute ago. Pardon me, but uh, I couldn't just help you. But now you're beautiful where I was. Something struck me when I set my eyes on you. Tell me, you should be thanking your mother every morning. Yes, for putting such a beauty to me. <laughs> you're cute too. You know what, um, this was a little bit too noisy and all that. I don't forget the number so I can hit you up later and talk about it. Alright, I'll be there in one. Three, six, zero. We have to make this 20k bet now. It's not like you're the only one paying, is it? Well, not all of us work in oil companies like you. Oh yeah, servicing firm. Big difference. 
Uh, 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 guys, <clears throat> can I have my money now, please? Come on. Guys. Just this man no plan with this girl. I, I, the same thing, I'm the fact I'm beginning to suspect. <laughs> Just like that. Hi. Oh boy. Well, what can I say? He got this one. He got this one. Anyway, <laughs> enjoy, 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 enjoy. So, um, bad guy. What are you popping up with big question? So, what are you um, popping up? Tomorrow, actually, hmm. I have everything planned out to the last detail. For real? Fredo! Yeah, I'm happy for you, Joe. Congrats. Yeah, congrats. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy for you, bro. <laughs> Come on. You Man, like, people have been only us. Just. In fact, anyway, we can we can speak up about this whole. Now we're the best man. In fact, not the best man. Wait, I'm the best man. Guy, calm down. Did you know me? Before that, you know I'm building for you. Nah, don't worry. Nah, I'm not the best man. Let me 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 I thought we agreed we we're gonna stay in and watch movies together. Oh, oh, okay, no problem. I'm gonna wait. Get back to me in a week, and it's over a month already. What did the person say? He didn't do anything. He grabbed my ass. What was I supposed to do? Pick a Bible and preach to him? Look, look, I am tired of these people and their double standard nonsense. They can take their job as Chevy Chow, damn that Chow, for all I care. Miss Jacobs, 
The record here I have from the Department of Accounts shows that your son is um, defaulting over 50% of his school fees. His intersports fees, his computer lesson fees, his after lessons school fees and his PTA fees and even shows a 40% balance for his textbooks. Madam, I will pay. I always pay. That was what you said at the start of time. And it's over two months. But I always drop something every month. Yes, but unfortunately, that something isn't enough. This is a Monsero school, Miss Jacob. And like, you know, we have a high standard of education here. And like all good things, they cost money. Now imagine we let other parents run the same system of payments that you do. Would have run out of um, uh, sins, would have shut down sins. Madam, just give me some time. Let me sort one or two things out. I promise I'll pay everything. I'll pay. I'm sorry. At this point, we would have to let your son go home. No, madam, you can't do this, please. You can bring him back when you fully paid his fees. Madam, please. Please, madam. Can wait, I I really need to talk to you with urgent. Please, I need to see you. Don't worry, when I see you, we'll discuss about it. It's very urgent, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
here. I'll maybe have to leave now. You know, I have to be at the airport in two hours. Hmm? Okay. Why don't you guys give a baby a kiss? Hmm? You know very well how I feel about this your trip, Bella. Baby, I need to go home and see my relatives. You know, my mom can't do that alone. Hmm? Okay, I'm not going to stay long. I'll be back soon. Okay? Okay. So give a baby a kiss now. So you see me? Yeah? Um, hold up. Let me get the keys. Um, I'll drop you off. Oh, okay. Small thing. Since when did giving people's addresses become a big deal? Since giving one's address to random people became a security threat. First, I am not a random person. And secondly, this is not a threat to anyone's security. I still think it's a bad idea. Look, I don't understand why you're saying all this. Like, let me see him, let's discuss this, let me talk to him. Well, I think it's going to be awkward. What? How? For, for who? For everyone. Is there something you're not telling me? Let's get to it. This place is so lonely without you. I know, and I want to be with you too. But I've missed you. When are you coming back? Soon. How soon? Tomorrow. Great. Babe, are you here? Ah, look, don't tell me you're trying to play a trick on me right now. Are you here? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not there. <laughs> you get a drink of me, right? Good morning to your daddy. Good morning, Dad. <laughs> Dad? How? Yes. He's your son. Anyway, that's a story for another day. Right now, you have responsibility towards both of us. Excuse me? Yes. He's out of school because his school fees has not been completed. And we have nowhere to stay because we can't pay the rent. And how is that any of my damn business? Isn't he your son? You come here from nowhere and you expect me to just say yes to your demands? Mm, let me think. Yes. 
Yes. Then you are mad. It's obvious that your village people have finally caught up with you. Now let me tell you something. The both of you, leave my house now. Just like that? Or is it because you're getting married to him and you're scared he might spark things up for you? How did you? How did you? Anyway, that's not important for now. Um, Yvonne, for the last time, the both of you should leave my house. No. Afraid. So you want to throw your son out of this house because of another woman? Eh? where we'll be staying from now on. <laughs> what is this? Money for his school fees and accommodation. Really? <laughs> so you expect me to just throw outside your house and there's an apartment waiting for me? Is that how it's done, Fred? Even will you take the damn check or not? No, I will not. Because it's beyond you writing me a check and you know it. And stay here. And what about me? I don't care, I don't care Yvonne. I don't give a hoot. You can go and stay in the trees for all I know. It's not my business. I am going nowhere without my son. If my son is staying here with you, I am staying. See that? No, we are not in my house. Come, let's go to the room. We are done with this conversation. Come on, let's go. So, where exactly is our room? Which way, left or right? Do not have some Those are some spare bed sheets in case you need them. Thank you. There are toiletries in the bathroom in case you also need them. <laughs> Fred, so you have a nice home like this and you want us to go homeless? One month. That is all you have. You better not see this place as a permanent vacation home. I'm still looking for somewhere else as soon as possible. Do you know? Say good night to your dad. Good night, Dad. Good night. You have told her in line that I was out of the country or something. You can't leave that in. Hey, hey. You see, I would have thought about that one too, but, but you know how we one can get now. But you said, understand with me. You said, really? can you leave that? How, how, how can Yvonne be? I know how Yvonne can be. Leave that in. Uh -uh. Okay, okay, okay. Now she's in my house now to so destroy my life, destroy my house. Well done. Can you try? You try. Wait, wait, wait. You try. <laughs> try. Woo! Even Jacobs, tell me, does she still look the same? Well, she's still very, very annoying. That's what you mean. <laughs> but she wasn't annoying when you went, when you were all over her, frolicking all over her, doing all the shit, all the shit, all the shit. Now she's annoying, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is not funny. You know, they laugh. This is not funny. How do I tell Bella about this? Wait, are you saying she doesn't know that uh, your baby mama lives with you? Bella does not even know I have a baby or a baby mama you are talking about. No. And the annoying thing is that, and wait, and the annoying thing is that she can come back anytime from now. Fred, they don't have to meet her. Do not let Bella meet even your house. Better go and explain this to her before she gets there. I think you should just send her a text message. I think so. Are you meeting? I think so. That's the first thing. That's the only way out. Oh, really? 
Guy, just forget everything. Do you understand? I bet. See, it don't happen. Don't move. Don't move. Mad, they throw myself to go again. Don't be, don't be. Anyway, when I come up past here, you're there. Abi? You know, no, you know. Don't have a bad feeling about that. Be there like in an hour. Okay, cool. So we'll see you in a bit then. All right. Where's Junior? The school bus came for him some minutes ago. Okay, good. Oh, great. So that one is sorted. Um, you, get up. Go and get dressed. Why are we going somewhere? House hunting. The estate agent is waiting for us. So quick? I thought I was joking. My friend, get up and go and get dressed. I know you're trying to get rid of us so your fiancé doesn't know about us. But don't worry. I'll get dressed. <laughs> Just say a couple. Yvonne, we went to six different apartments today. Six! In the past three days, we have gone to 16 different houses, Yvonne, and you turned down each and every one of them. Please, can you just stop? Stop making a deal out of nothing. Look, I have to be very careful, you know. I can't just jump into an apartment I am not comfortable with because you are in a hurry to throw me out of the house. You know what? I just realized something. The fact that we can go to 16 different apartments and you can't even settle for one it means there's something wrong with you. In fact, Yvonne, you are possessed. I am possessed. Yes. Is this, is this coming from you, Fred? I am possessed. When you were chasing me, I wasn't possessed. When you were dating me, when we were dating, I wasn't possessed. I don't even go there, please. When we're sleeping with each other, I wasn't possessed. Now that it's time for you to stand up to your responsibility and take care of your son and your baby mama, now I'm the possessed one, right? What? Did he call me when you were... 
coming into town. Must I tell you? Who is she? Uh, um, okay, um, babe, I, I know you're tired, okay? Um, let's just um, come, uh, sit down, then we can talk, okay? I'm not sitting, Fred. I need an explanation right now. Who is she and what is this baby mama stuff I'm just hearing you guys talking about? Uh, what you heard is what it is. I have a son for him and that makes me his baby mama. Oh, I hate that word. Is this true? Good afternoon, Dad. Good afternoon, Mom. Uh, how are you? How's school? <laughs> you go upstairs to your room, okay? Mom will come help you change. Go! Sweetheart. It's not what you think. I can explain everything. Please, just let's relax, okay? Uh, what, what, why are you looking at me like that? I mean, it's a bad thing to say the truth. I'm so happy we met this guy. Eh? Imagine when this deal clicks, we're going to make so much money. And I found out every guy in this room is looking for that deal. Do you understand? So I'm so happy. Yeah? Fred! Now, let this girl pick her phone now. Be be pick up her phone now. What's the apple's death? Oh. She still isn't picking your call? She's not picking her call. SMS, nothing. I've done everything I can to get across to this girl. Nothing. Girl, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated, man. What's it be this now? Uh -uh. Now, let me see for this life. Now, let me come in do, do bad thing. What's this, Seth? Take a reason now. Now, what matter with this? What, what, what's wrong with you? Um, you know what? Um, let's drive off. Start your car. Let's drive. Drive. Go where now? Just drive and follow me. Just let's drive. Start this car. Let's go. Just relax. Hmm? I, I've done everything I can to get this girl. Take it easy. Yeah, take it easy. Take what what, what did I do wrong? Listen, listen, let's drive straight to our house, okay? Telling you, but trust me, it was not to hurt you at all. Bella, 
You are the most important thing to me right now. And I don't want to lose you. Please, forgive me and give me another chance. You expect me to just welcome you into my house like that? After all you did? You have to give me time to, to think about it. You, you mean? You heard me. You heard me very well. I need time. Oh, I'm afraid. I, it's alright. I think you should give her some time, okay? Bella, please take it easy, okay? Please. So, what are you saying now? I am saying, why you keep playing hard to get? There's a woman there. A woman with whom he has had history with. Fred kept the secret from me. You should have at least told me. Madam, you are supposed to be fighting. You mean I'm supposed to be fighting Fred? No. No. That is the wrong fight. You're not supposed to be fighting Fred. You're supposed to be fighting for your spot. Babe, I don't get you. You're supposed to be on my side. I don't understand you anymore. Ah, sweetheart. You know I got your back any day, any time. But you're so angry now that you can't even see the obvious things. I don't understand. I, I, don't, I don't get you, babe. The obvious thing being that there's a woman at his place. A woman with whom he has history with. So, am I supposed to be fighting her or something? No, girl. Peace all over the damn place, girl. Peace. Not that kind of peace, I beg. I mean, just move into his place. But you know that is not possible. Haba. What is Haba? Ha? What, as in, what is that? Are you guys not sleeping together? So, what's the difference? Okay, I think I get you now. Who coming? the same person that insisted that we wait until we get married before you move in. Oh well, things have changed thanks to the circumstances which you are well aware of. So it won't be a bad thing if I move in and <laughs> change up. Um, I need to freshen up so bring us So why are you bothering me? Because it's very much unlike you. Oh really? It's pretty much like you to spring up a baby and a baby mama from nowhere. Right? Bella, there's no need of all this. Hold it. This relationship is now under probation. Unless you want me to change my mind about, about the wedding. And please leave.
Wait till you see what's the name of this right now. Ah, Shiloh Freshman. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, there you are. You can join us. Uh, no, thank you. I would just have cereal then. Go to bed. Are you trying to avoid me? I made enough food for us. Who said anything about avoiding you? I, I offered you a polite invitation and you, you're turning it down. I don't have a job. Not qualified enough. I had a job, I I have problem in there. <laughs> Interesting. It seems you you have taste for drama. Even at your place of work. And your personal life. When a senior manager sexually harasses you at work, just smile and bear it. After what you don't have taste for drama in your personal life, what do you? Alright, I'm done. But you're not done with your food. I'm not hungry anymore. Excuse me. for the way Bella spoke to you the other night. Uh, there is no need for that. No, there is. There is um, sexual harassment at work is not something to be taken lightly at all. And um, I feel so bad that you lost your job because of that. So. It's fine. 
<laughs> that is the slap I gave him will last on this place for a long time. What? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> don't you know me? They don't call me vampire for nothing. I gave him a serious hot soldier slap. He screamed like a woman when he connected. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you have not changed at all. You are still the same Yvonne Jacobs I always knew. <laughs> and love? <clears throat> um, okay, um, I have to go now. Please, I beg. No Allah in my house. Please, oh. So I'm now a Allah person. <clears throat> I can say that too. All right, now. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. What exactly? How to avoid sexual harassment at work and still keep your work at the same time? Oh, please hold it. Don't think because Fred was gracious enough to allow you to stay here and sort your accommodation issues, that means you still have a chance with him. <sighs> there you go again. If you might have a child with him, that doesn't change anything. I'm his presence and you're his past. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's just. Cut this whole bullshit and admit you're you're threatened. <laughs> if you really have an overestimated sense of importance, to think I would in any way feel threatened by you. So why are we having this conversation? I mean, there's no need for this. <laughs> and one more thing. You may be as future, present or continuous or whatever you choose to call yourself. But my son is a constant in his life. The earlier you understand that, the better for you. <laughs> Yeah. Baby girl, I wanna be the one to love you. You can never get. 
And another two. What is all this now? Pick two. Last card. And check up. I won. Yes, I won. I won. <laughs> I bet this was just luck. Are you kidding me? This is fair and square winning. I won. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. You know what then? Let us settle this with another round. <laughs> what round is that? Ah, she has. Um, Yvonne and I are actually playing a game of what? Okay, so let's go play. Yeah. Alright. Count me. Count you in. Uh, but babe, we don't know how to play this game now. If you don't want me to play this game, just tell me. shared a joke at my expense and you're telling me I'm overreacting? It was not at your expense for goodness sake. We were relieving something that happened a long time ago. Oh, And that came because I made some mistakes in the game? Huh? Admit it Fred. I think you're giving her more time than me. Oh jeez Belle, are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm smiling? Huh? I don't even know what she's doing in this house in the first place. Can't she go somewhere else and leave us to live our lives? Now this is beginning to get ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous, you said. Just because I said she should go somewhere else and leave us to live our lives. Huh? Fred. Now listen to me, Bella. Just in case you glossed over the memo and left out of the fine details. That person you are referring to is the mother of my child. So whether you like it or not, she is a part of my life. Is that what you're saying? As far as I'm concerned, this conversation is over. You're not going anywhere, Fred! Fred! Fred, come back! You're not done, Fred! Uh, 
I don't see why. How far we are here? Alright, um, let's meet at the bar. Yeah, now. But it is not perfect because of you. Junior, who told you that? Your mom? Our teacher said a perfect family is a family that are together, but my, fam my, my mom and dad are not together because of you. Just overreacting for goodness sake. He's just a kid. So, is a kid doesn't make him stupid. Kids, they say the other things. You should hear my niece talk, then you understand. He wasn't lying when he said he sees me as the reason why his parents are not together. Oh, please. They haven't been together for years before you came into the picture. So, still. Father, he left us kids and my mom. It wasn't easy at all for us. Come on, Bella. It's not the same scenario, and you know it. I don't want to end up being the woman I hated or being referred to as the other woman. You are necessarily being too hard on yourself. Honestly, you don't need this. Get rid of me. And then you two can do your kinky kinky all over the house like you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Why? You guys don't. <laughs> I'm not ready to put my sex life under the microscope. I beg. Okay, uh, I'll just go make lunch. Should be also be back. Okay. Hello? 
ya. Yeah, I'm his father. Any problem? What? Which hospital? What happened? Junior, the, uh, the boss was involved in an accident. What happened to my son? Is he fine? Where is he? Where, what did this say happen to my son? They rushed the kids to, to, to hospital. They give me the name. Oh my God, baby, you're the best thing I ever got. Looking so fly, baby, you're my star. Eh, uh -huh. on the floor. Rock your body, make your body want more. Feeling like I wanna turn it up. Uh, uh, yeah. Baby, let me love you. Show you my mind, make you feel the vibe, baby. I. Baby, let me love you. Show you my mind, make you feel the vibe. Turn it up. Baby girl, I wanna be the one to love you. Can never get enough, can never get enough of your love. Baby girl, I wanna be the one to love you. Can never get enough, can never get enough of your love. You're my radio, you're my radio love song. You're my radio love song. You're my radio, you're my radio love song. You're my radio love song. Oh my God, she's blushing when I say she's so fine. Baby, I'm down with your smile. Uh, baby, don't stop. Turn it up, making me want more. I'm loving this game, now you ready, no. Uh, yeah. It's all over. Yeah. I'll be far worse than this. Thank God. Okay, I'll just take it this long, okay? I wonder why. I wonder why Bella didn't show up again. She said she was coming. Did something happen? Hi Fred, I'm sorry this had to happen, but I believe it's for the best. I've been thinking about this and I've decided that I don't want to be the woman who will ruin the perfect family you guys would have had. My father left us and our mother for another woman when I was six years old. Mom suffered a lot and I grew up with a resentment in my heart toward my father. Most of all, towards the woman who took him away from us. Now it looks like I'm turning into that woman. I grew up 18 and I don't want that. Junior deserves a perfect family. 
and I don't want him to hate me for being the reason why he's not getting it. I bear no grudges in my heart towards you or anyone, and I wish you guys the very best in life. Please don't bother looking for me or trying to explain anything to me, as my mind is made up. You will always hold a special place in my heart, always. if I should make something for you. Please, Bella, we need to talk. Oh no, she traveled yesterday. Traveled to where? Village? I don't know, she didn't tell me. But she came back, took her things and left. Okay, thank you. Alright, take care. Oh my God, baby, you're the best thing I ever got. Looking so fly, baby, you're my star. Eh, uh -huh. On the floor, rock your body, make your body one more. Feeling like I wanna turn it up. Uh, uh, yeah. Baby, let me love you. Show you my mind, make you feel the vibe, baby. I, yeah, baby, let me love you. Show you my mind, make you feel the vibe, turn it up. Baby, girl, I wanna be the one to love you. Can never get enough, can never get enough of your love. Baby, girl, I wanna be the one to love you. Can never get enough, can never get enough of your love. You're my radio, you're my radio love song. You're my radio love song. You're my radio, my radio love song. You're my radio love song. Easy, easy. What, what did you guys find here? Well, uh, we 
is not yeah. difficult to know where a man will go to to have respite from his miseries. Let me take him in. Please do. We don't want you to see his father in this thing. Okay. Thank you. Be seated. Be seated. I have never seen Fred like this before. This must have really hit him hard. He's very much shook up. You know he loved Bella so much. I feel really, really terrible that I'm the cause of all this. I mean, if I didn't show up with you, you know, all this wouldn't have happened. Hey, you shouldn't feel this way. I mean, you did what every mother would do for our child. You did what you had to do. Have you, have you tried to contact her? Well, she wouldn't pick calls, she wouldn't reply messages. But I think Fred should let her be for now, at least. He should give her some time. How much time? I wouldn't know for now. Look at him. Just look at your friend. He's a complete mess. I know. But we need some time. Oh, alright. He's settled in now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, I think I'll be really sure to go now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. We'll Thank come you. in the morning to check on him. Finally. What are you doing here? And who told you I live here? I guess the instruction you gave your neighbors only applies to Fred alone. What do you want? Talk. If it's about Fred, look, I told him I'm not interested. We are done. I think you're being foolish with the way you're handling this issue. Excuse me? Look, whoever told you I wanted to get back with Fred? I mean, did I ever say that? I only wanted him to take care of his son. And that's all. And I was leaving his apartment because we had a competition. Sure, were you expecting me to leave under the bridge? Um, look, Fred Julius. I have seen him. He became a, he became a weak man as soon as you left him. I, I didn't work out on him. I, I only assumed. Assumption. That is your problem. You assume. He truly loves you. And if I were you, I wouldn't throw that away because of some silly assumption. You know what to do. Excuse me. Dad, are you coming to visit us? Oh, definitely, Junior. I'll be coming to visit. Every day? <laughs> well, not every day, but um, I'll be coming as often as I can. You will buy me some chocolate, biscuit, and drink. Junior. Of course, Junior. I'll buy you lots and lots of goodies, OK? OK. Hey, I'll see you later. Yes, I know it's Bye, Junior.
you do not apologize to me. I overreacted. I can't believe I was about to lose the best thing that has ever happened to me. I'm sorry. Bella, please, please, never ever leave me again. I'm going nowhere. Come here. Come on. I missed you so much. I missed you so much. Get it now. 